why we're not going to Sephora, unfortunately. Okay guys, I just came in secured. I want to go home like super fast. So while I'm getting my hair done, let me tell y'all how we tried to go to Bath and Body Works and pick up a cute little candle or two. And the line was from the front of the store to the back of the store. And guess what we did? And it. I got distracted. Look at this. I'm not gonna like it though but yeah y'all we left because I'm like I'm so sorry especially coming from like work oh no baby I never needed a candle that damn bad <laughs> never is this almost done I'm so hungry yeah we ordered mean stop she took while she don't see the hype about lemon pepper girl I don't like lemon pepper bone in, but lemon pepper freaking boneless top tier promises. I have to make music because we have no. <laughs> you remember that time that boy on your set said um, his phone don't come with speaker? I was like, I just know how you get down. Shut up. <laughs> oh, Shut up. I'm scared. I'm not I want to. I was gonna say, I want to call them to. <laughs> you see, bro? <laughs> <laughs> you see? I don't even play like that. We should have both went, though. But we would have been in the same class, right? So what? I know what you're trying to say. I don't call Cosmetology? Them. Cosmetology. Culinary is mad crazy. But don't burn me. 250? Yeah, no, no. Two dollars and fifty cents. My hair grows mad fast. I don't know. I'm sorry. And I'll buy. Like an angel, literally. Mm -hmm. um, how did it just go from two fifty to three fifty? Bitch, ho, please. Like, okay, y'all. So I got fries and I got some boneless. This is um Louisiana rub and this is lemon pepper. I'm so excited and y'all know I do not eat wing stop without my cheese dip. Period. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna pour us up some drinks. So first up, we have Tito's. You know, the girlies love Tito's. Let me see what's the vibes for today. How badly do we want to go? Because, guys, we're going to, like, do a little talking on camera, but it's not, like, its own video. I want it's the same amount of junk. It's not, like, its own video. Like This is broke. Yeah, duh. Why would you tell my business on YouTube? Take some wine and... You know what? Ever since I got a freaking corkscrew, all of a sudden we don't drink wine with where we need a corkscrew. Mm -hmm. I'll be the one to take the first sip. I can't take my sip top holding this Why do I always feel like I need to dance in your room? That's why I can't be yeah, we about to like. I have to like 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you to leave it alone 30 times. <laughs> but the thing is, I don't know how we're arrested. <laughs> Editing this vlog though, y'all, because I'm trying to get it up by 9 p.m. Like literally. So, <clears throat> oh my god! Ever since winter came, my lips be ashy all the time, and I hate it. Oh, I be up. Yeah, I hate that. Okay. Stop playing around. Um, I thought you were gonna say something. No. Okay, y'all. It's <laughs> the iconic duo, duh. Duh. Okay, so we really didn't have anything planned today, but we were hanging out. And I know how much y'all love us. They love us. They love us. They do. So I was just like, we need to film something on camera. And we're just gonna throw it right in the middle of this vlog. Duh. But. We don't have anything major planned, so we literally... Okay, we're just gonna be talking shit, really. Okay, so we basically came up with the Ooh, idea... Cheers. Duh. Um, we're basically um, gonna be talking crap about... Well, not even talking crap, because we don't even know who's gonna pop up. It might be somebody we like. So we're just gonna be giving our opinion. No, you can't do that. You what have to refresh your Instagram every oh time. Oh my god, alright. Okay, so um <clears throat> like close out the app. You see how you cheat? I was gonna refresh it. Just close it out every time. Okay, so basically we're gonna each be opening our Instagrams um randomly. And the first celebrity that pops up, we're gonna give you guys our opinion on them. We're gonna do probably like Six, I was saying I was saying five. Five seems like the perfect number, but I was like to make it even six. six. Okay. I was gonna say five. But I'm like six. Yes, That's right. Five. Okay, me too. I was thinking that. Okay. Okay. Jada popped up. Jada who? Jada Wado. Okay. This might be an unpopular opinion. I feel like a lot of people don't like Jada. I don't know why. I like Jada. I, like <laughs> I like Jada. I, I do, her. but I'm not like one of those fans or like I'm not delusional. Like I could say like, all right, she didn't have to do that. Like I could admit when she be wrong, and like when she's being a weirdo. But I still like her overall. I do feel like she's has like a very very high percentage of delusion. <laughs> I do. <laughs> it was her. But Jada's just really one of those girls who it seems like it all got to be about her. Like, if it's not about her, it ain't popping. And that's mad weird. That's me moving the table. But I think that's just mad weird. And also in her relationship, like, she will know she being dumb and then make the internet seem weird. No, girl, you're weird. Like, you be telling on your business or be on the internet and then you be like, yeah, but that ain't got nothing to do with me when it's about you. Trauma. Like that's annoying. That that's, was that that's, is delusional. Exactly. That is not That's just me though. What do you have to say about her? The only thing I'm upset with her about well I don't say upset because I don't really know the beach, but I don't know her at all. But I don't like how she left the impact. But I'm so glad that stayed. Yes, I'm yeah. not gonna lie. That surprised me when Des actually stayed on the show. I was like, oh okay. <laughs> I was happy because I like Dust too. But um, I really wish Jada would have stayed on the impact. I feel like, who am I calling? It's an accident, whoever it is. But I just feel like um, she could have showed her side of the story. Because to me, now that you left, that's like you're saying, okay, they win. They were right all along. You I feel like she had no reason to leave. Yeah, none. Just it was not. Back on the show. It was not that The show me. needed drama anyway. That's why they added Tucson. And Carly, and Carly. The, the show needed drama. She had no reason to leave. Literally. Uh, anyway, your turn. Open up. Open up. One second. One second. Jocelyn and Natalie. You don't, you have, you don't watch this. I don't watch the show. <sighs> they are the definition of the movie. They're sick in the head. They, they just money hungry. I my personal opinion is like 
they need to act their age. I just feel like let Bad Girls Club go. That's kind of stuff that I don't watch Bad Girls Club no more. Like I tried to rewatch it as an adult. I can't. I don't watch that baddie stuff. I don't think that's cute. I just. Not gonna watch. I, you know what I watch? Influencer City. You know why I would rather watch Influencer City than because they're younger. They are supposed to be acting like that. These are middle-aged women with kids, and I, that's why I just can't. Like I'm not saying I don't like the drama. I don't like the fights because I do. I'm messy. Even Love and Hip Hop and stuff like that, I will watch. But I feel like Love and Hip Hop don't take it far. Like the fighting and the oh y'all just linking up to fight. That's ghetto. I mean, it's not really like it's confusing because it's just like no. The whole purpose of the show is to fight each other. It, it, but you know what's ghetto? I've heard of it. Now that's TV. I uh, know. No, that's a boxing ring. That I don't. I don't have that yet. I'm gonna get it. But girl, no, I have nothing else to say about them <laughs> at all. I just feel like they need to be taking their daughters to preschool every day and being stay at home moms and making money in okay the this is a good one who is it dj envy and the whole Nicki minaj situation and i'll bring us up the whole everything that was going down today the kanye situation um the other interview guy who's talking about her everybody's coming for Nicki, and i'm a barb straight barb and I'm not even saying like I'm a barb, so Nikki's right. There has been situations where I'm like, yo, Nikki need to relax. Like she didn't have to do that. Or that was embarrassing. That was cringe. Like, trust me, I could admit when somebody that I like or love is doing something dumb or wrong. But this, I don't I I definitely see what she's saying when the industry tries to ice her out and then they always need her in the end. Kanye is the perfect example because she was literally begging him to clear nobody and he would not. And then he bring in a monster. Monster was like what, 15 years ago? And she still ate. Was 10, 15 years. But she ago? gave you another verse. That would have been iconic. Nobody would have been iconic. He expects like, when people. I don't like people like Kanye because it's just like you expect people to be on when you want it. Yeah, and then no. like everybody was bashing her, icing her out, and for a little minute it looked like they scared her out the game. But one thing Nikki don't do is play. Okay, Period. she don't play, and she might take some time. But when she come back, if she you know what I hate? Him. A bitch that forget what she said. Hmm. Everybody always do that when it comes to Nikki, though. I hate a bitch. I forget what they say. But they always do that when it comes to Nikki. And that's me, like... That's I don't deny like, things wait. people accuse me of because I probably just say it. Yeah. No, but not even that. But that's kind of like with um, Just Hilarious and, <gasps> and Sexy, Sexy Red. Red. Bitch, yep. you know what you said about me. Don't try to be my And that's how you know Sexy Red face. is a gangster because she still came up there and sat in she said and didn't nah. say nothing to you. No beef. Y'all don't gotta fight, and that's how I get like everybody calls her ghetto and stuff like that. But she's really not that ghetto because if she was, she would have came up there and punched that girl in the face. That's being real. If she was a pregnant, I feel like she would have. Yeah, I no, I think she would, cause I feel like she understands image and certain things like that. Oh, she well, might let not me say if it was me, they would have now been peeling me up off her. <clears throat> no, you know what I would have did? I would have not spoken to her through the whole interview and then full half the end. <laughs> Or I would have just hit below the belt, like, bitch, don't ask me anything. Answer this, and I would have pulled some shit out the hat that she don't want to answer, since you want to take it there. It's like, but, just because you trying to interview me, you're trying to interview me to find, about my, find out about my But business. my thing is, girl, we're not cool. We was never cool when you was talking stuff about me, and then you think you could come to my face and but you don't even to know me. me. Like, that's the whole point. I don't like, understand that. Why do interviews start beef with people that's supposed to interview? That's not how you make your money to interview and find out information about these people. What is the point of, oh, I'm not mad. playing her songs. You're a DJ. You're supposed to play a song. Yeah. Who are you to, lit right now. Who are you to, 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 to tell what song you not playing? I don't like how DJ Envy think he could blackball Nikki because... Just like he lied about Erica Mena. Y'all, I promise I never knew that. I just found out out the other day. I knew that. I didn't know that. And I watched Erica in an interview with Carlos, and even though she's a liar within herself, I don't like. I her. believed her about that. But part. about that, I believe her. But not I because like I don't her. like DJ Envy, but it just sounded like 
a typical New York dude. Like, yeah, they live two lives. And the wife, of course, delusion. Delu. Delu. Like you're married. Take it all. All right, since we're going off the dome now, let's talk about Cardi and Offset. Oh my god, I I I'm a barb, and sometimes Cardi be pissing me off, but I feel so bad. Like, I feel so bad for her. You could hear her heart breaking. And just putting her, I just don't understand. Maybe it's the outlet for certain people, but I don't see myself ever going on the internet and no. crying and screaming or just telling my business. Period. In general, like I have beef with people a whole lot, like a whole lot where I wanted to expose them and but I'm never gonna put that on social media because that's just embarrassing it is. it's highly embarrassing to have people looking at her like because they're not sympathizing with you like you might get two off the bunch but everybody else is laughing they're talking stuff they're giving their opinions when they don't know what's going on and then the person is getting mad that they're giving their opinions about why would you bring it to the internet I feel like they they want everybody to be like on their side yeah but when you don't get that my thing is if you the internet is worldwide if you put something on the internet you're putting it up for grabs like if i post a picture and a bitch say you're ugly okay bitch that's your opinion i'm gonna say what i want to say back to you in the comments but i can't really take too much of that because that's your opinion and i put my picture up there you get not what i'm trying true. to say like how could i be mad but especially it's different for people like us where we don't have such a huge following mm -hmm. but it's like how are you going to fight the entire world when they know who you are like the entire world but that's when like if you're going to post stuff you gotta have that strong backbone that's true no matter like the let me see like diara i'm not gonna lie diara she don't care what is said about her on the internet she don't address nothing that she don't want to address and she posts what the hell she wants like, if I ever make it to that, I want to be like that. Like, I don't want every little thing to affect me. Yes, I'm going to see it. Yes, I'm going to hear it. But that. when oh. I make it to that level, period, when I make it to that level, I'm not going to be caring. Because you know what? I'm going to still be making my money. I'm going to still be living my life. And I'm going to still have to deal with those problems off the internet. And so all this like, tells me with Cardi is he... Then she don't one time. He she don't do multiple, multiple times. times. I would say honestly, after the second time, wrap it up. Let it go. Not even after the second time. Well, yeah, cause no, because you give them a first chance. No, yeah, you give them a second time, chance. Yeah, sometimes that first time dudes do a whole some very yeah. seldom, but they make a mistake. Yes, you're right. I, everybody makes mistakes like girls cheat to don't right. get it twisted but i definitely feel like if you genuinely love someone and for them to have kids and all of that and be engaged they were engaged or married they're married they're married? they're married okay so for them to be married and i get why she would give him a second chance it's a lot but even tiana taylor what's going on with she's a lesbian Armand that shocked the hell out of me right they never talked about any i'm pretty sure every relationship got they've problems. been broken up what they said since january the whole year they kept that shit under wraps and they didn't and she when it that. came out she fought she defended him and he still tried to embarrass her but the whole divorce weird. thing like i don't get that and all <laughs> said if you want to be single y'all are young y'all are not y'all yeah. are now touching 30 i just feel like don't sit there and start no I, I mean i get it sometimes people grow out of love and stuff like that but i don't feel like that's the situation with them like i feel like he's still very much in love with her he just cool thinks party. that yeah i think he thinks he could ha eat, have his cake and eat it too like stuff like that but i just feel like how do niggas wake up one day and be like yeah i'm finna cheat like i just feel like wait them being in the industry i feel like it's temptation yes but why do you give in because i feel like if the roles was reversed and i'm not even just saying like oh it's a girl versus guy thing or it is though but not even because there are some scandalous as girls no i'm saying no i'm saying it's a girls women. versus guys thing in the sense of like a guy would think oh you're not supposed to be doing that you a girl yeah okay yeah but i mean like me personally my character is like if i'm in a relationship no nigga can't smile on my face or even get that close to me or for me to even entertain something for it to it's go so that far and it's like why why 
niggas barely have that same respect for their girlfriend. They don't if have you that value. Love them. You you had a baby with them. You're married to them. Like this is your one, but not when it comes to having other girls. Like I just feel like niggas just know like, oh, she's gonna take me back. Like she loves me. Yep. She's in love with me, mm. and that's weird. And I don't like that for her. Like that's. I don't. Weird. I feel so so bad. Okay. And it's really she in the house with two kids, and you outside yeah. having a Yeah, and then it's like on your birthday. And then he's talking about his album. Never heard of it. She said that trash ass album. And it's Did it make it aware? Trash. Of you cheating for what? Your album not even good. I don't get that. Niggas with money let shit go to their head, bro. They let shit go to their head. For all that be single. Be That's single. my thing. Like, no one asks you to marry this girl. Not even her. I don't understand why they make it so serious. And then, like, if you get on one knee and ask me to marry you, that means you see the rest of your life with me. Like, why would you feel like it's okay to cheat the next day? I don't get it. Just lying. Just Why do I feel like I'm drinking by myself? They're not. We're at the same thing. Okay. Let me see your cup. You are a liar. Jessica, it's not that much. Okay, good. <laughs> Why Okay, that's about Nene Leaks, Lanithia Leaks, New Fakes. I love I love Nene. it. I love Nene. I love it. Okay. Nini is tea. I love it. I feel like she's the definition of Yes, I'm 50 but this is a new life I mean, I don't know. I just love her. I sympathize with her so much like from the very beginning when I started watching her on that show when she was wearing them ugly hairstyles, <laughs> the ghetto outfits, I still loved her. I loved her. I love her. And I feel like she shows like true character growth. Nini's like my um my Nicki Minaj when it comes to reality TV. Yes. She could do no wrong to me. Okay, but no, she do wrong to me. Cause sometimes it's just like Nene, you can say sorry, and it's oh, yeah. No. Sometimes like she like, like that part. Yeah, yeah. It's all right, Nene. It's not that. No, you wrong. remember when they were with the oh. <laughs> where? Where? when she um she brought that um coach to them or whatever he was the what? therapist. Oh my god, and that then, got me tight. Yeah, yes. all right. that that helped And then she before. left. Yeah, she did. She was like, don't touch me, and she drove off in the room. But he bro. literally said, I'm not going to show favoritism. Like, I'm going to be honest. And she was just like... But in her defense, like I said, I'm very biased when it comes to me. In her defense, I feel like everybody was coming at her. Mm -hmm. Like, it was an eye bat. I don't care. I get that too, and but they my lucky, thing is and like... they lucky that she just walked away and she did not flip on anybody. Because me, I'm the type of person where if everybody's coming at me, I'm going to lash out. I'm reading everybody. I'm, I don't care. Accountability for me out the window because everybody's not gonna come at me at one time. We're, we can't talk about all of our problems. And then how do I plan this in a time? And this is why I sympathize with her, me. right? And this is why I sympathize with her, right? This is my whole thing. <laughs> no. But I was like, she had all right to walk out. No, she, she was never wrong. Had no right. She had a right. Let me tell you why. Because, all right, since I'm the problem, let's remove the problem. I'm going to leave. That's how I feel. And they it. still had a problem with that. I don't care. The problem's yeah, not is. here. You should no longer have a problem. Bye. They definitely Bye. Because if I would have jumped off and leaped on everybody at the thing now, I'm wrong. I just feel like a lot of the times they be doing Nikki wrong. I mean, Nikki. <laughs> that too. That too. Oh, I really feel that deep inside. But I feel like they be doing Nene wrong. Even and kicking her having, off. I feel yes. like Nene should have been got her own yeah. show. She Mm, Candy don't get, got three, don't four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Don't say that name on my channel. Sorry. What's don't her name? Big Face. Big Face. Got. Mm. It's so irrelevant. Like, it's ridiculous. I'm tired of watching, um, what's her name? Mama Joyce talk shit about Todd and Candy not do nothing about it. Cause can, hey, you want to talk about her? Cause we can talk about her. Do you want to talk about her? Cause... <laughs> You seem like you got a lot to get off your chest that I want. Oh my gosh, she's a disgusting person. I don't like her. She literally throws rocks and hides her hand. She don't. And then when people try to address her about it or make her hold herself accountability, oh, I will fuck some shit up. You are a ghetto mess. And your mom- And still ain't do nothing yet. And your mom should like, I would just be personally, I wouldn't even really put my mom on that show. Like- No. 
not my mom would never act like her but i genuinely just wouldn't put my mom on the show unless she really wanted to be on the show and she was but i'm not defending alive. her mom right i'm not defending her mom because i feel like older people especially like people that like grew up in a certain time they're so like it's hard for them to get out of that okay, way so i wouldn't I, put my I mom on the show for that, that. I understand that and that's why she shouldn't have her mom on the show that's what i'm saying you know your mom but then on top of that is like because you were raised in this household and you allow that if you love me and i'm telling you that does not sit well with me and i don't like it and you're just like well that's just how she is Baby, me and you would yeah, never work no me and you no, would never work no especially as a husband exactly and that's why i feel like todd is there for the money Marlo said it. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like that's why he is there for the money because Marlo I would have been like, I'm not dealing with that. And especially with Todd being from New York. Yeah. Come on now. Okay, We've left we for less than that. About Nikki, so we're gonna scroll past her. We stop so much. He's too controversial right now. I'm not talking about him at all ever. He might come get me. <laughs> I'm not speaking about him. Santana. I don't have nothing to say. Oh my god, that's Raymonte. Uh, I don't, re I don't really have much to say about Raymonte except I just watched him for the first time yesterday on Dinner with I the Dog. I believe that. And I really, really like him. Like I like him, but I definitely see why other people do not like him. The reason why I like him and I ignore his shenanigans and find it so hilarious because he's literally, literally. Just being himself. And I feel like a lot of people, it's only, not a lot of people, it's very seldom people make it for being just themselves. Like, he's for real just being himself. Like, literally by himself. When he's walking through the airport, you gotta watch the vlog. He's walking through the airport by himself. He's in Target by himself. He's just doing whatever he, he wants to do. He's his own vibe. I love him. Exactly. I don't feel like he did too much on it. But I can't be around somebody like that. Like, watching him is okay. The camera side. He's gonna be the last one. Watching him is okay, but like being around him, I could see why other people would be like. He's like one of those people you could hang out with for a, a good night, like a good. And time. then like we link up every like a home girl, like we just chilling. We not really friends. I mean, I don't. I think he could be an amazing friend, but just the way he was talking shit about his family and stuff, like I wouldn't n ever get close to him. Is what I'm trying to say. Like he's a fun time but, but i really really like he him. still got some i like him he got some and what he has to, to say yeah what he has to say is real shit. he yeah, says he don't sugarcoat he says nothing. everything that everybody's scared he, to say. yes and i think that's why people don't like him but me i admire that like i like that as and far I think as it's funny. him on ari show i feel like they were being weird and like standoffish or whatever the case is and i just feel like is it because y'all old I mean, I'm older than him. They're but not the same age group. The 21 year olds and the 22 year olds right now is different from when we was 21 and 22. Even though Ari and I'm still be in a club and stuff like that, they the type to be like, oh, that's lame. That's little girl stuff. Or that's, you know. And then it's just like, y'all want to be dark. They want to so be high for me. Yeah, exactly. But, anyways, y'all, I'm going to close out this vlog. I hope y'all enjoyed us just talking. Cause we was talking. Just regular conversation. Nothing serious. Chelsea, that's what we really do all day. Like whatever <laughs> annoys us. But thank you guys so much for clicking to watch. Um, it's Vlogmas, so you guys are gonna see me on my channel tomorrow. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you made it this far in the video and you haven't subscribed. What are you doing? Thank you. Period. Um. Yeah. Bye.